But this is my uh, favorite chapter because it's uh, the most personal and about a beautiful person. It's called Dirty Sneakers. There they were, baking in the late sun against a wall belonging to unseen Mexican farm workers out the East Trail at 6L in Naples, Florida. These shoes had seldom ventured out from the picking fields. Ours have. Many years ago in the 90s, I came across a diminutive Spanish priest, Father Felix Alarcon. I was intrigued by his sermons. They were always about the poor. It kept touching a chord deep inside me. When I moved to Naples in 1998, I followed him. Church politics was not on his side. I finally went up to him and said we had to meet. He said next Saturday in the back of St. Leo's. We became instant friends, a deep bond in Christ. Father Felix would hold mass and communion in the dirt for the farm workers using an ironing board as his altar. I would walk around the camp ringing a bell, saying, La Misa, La Misa, Padre esta aquí. There were many small cabins, two double-deck bunks in each. Conditions marginal. Religion at its controversial finest? Sure. He moved around and then moved back to Spain retired in a small Madrid apartment, living off a meager pension with his sister, Maruja. I would send him my books and call several times a year. He always lit up when answering. What an honor. As good as it gets, guys, it doesn't get any better than that. He passed away recently and had asked a priest friend who was with him to call me. I had taken a beautiful photograph of sneakers and two of the shirtless workers had them beautifully framed. Father Felix kept them until he went to Spain. I re recently gave them to a friend who drives to Immokalee every Wednesday to deliver food and hope and love to the many in poverty and rusted campers and cabins. Let me repeat that, because he's doing what we all can do. I re recently gave them to a friend who drives to Immokalee every Wednesday to deliver food and hope and love to the many living in poverty in rusted campers and cabins. I have always wondered about the heart of their landlords. I know the truth. My friends symbolized the power of churches when the pews do likewise. There are so many ways to serve others right in front of you every day if you wake up and use your heart as your eyes. Use your heart as your eyes. This guy is my hero and carrying on in the spirit of Father Felix. Let's get your sneakers dirty. Are you ready?